All right, what's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today we've got the SCX6 out here with us and we've got the brand new Proline Hyrax tires on there. Really looking forward to seeing how these affect performance. The other change I've made to the truck is I adjusted the preload collars on the shocks and I allowed them to go all the way to the top so the truck in its stock form will sit as low as possible. In the future, I may remove those shock collars so that they actually drop another quarter inch or so to get this thing nice and low, get it hugging towards the ground, which is what I do with the rest of my trucks. So why not try it on the SCX-6? Inside these tires, I am running the Steady Foams that I did a video on. So if you guys are curious to see the difference between Steady Foams and the factory foams, I've got a video out there. I'm running two SCX-6 trucks out on the trail. It's pretty awesome. Let's get to it and hit the rocks with the new tires. So this six scale Jeep has been super fun. I really enjoy driving my SCX-6 every time I take it out. Uh, one thing I will mention is the pricing on these Proline tires is definitely better than I thought they were going to be. Uh, I kind of anticipated like a $70 per pair range and they were quite a bit less than that. So if you guys are have an SCX-6 and you haven't priced out tires, get online, take a look, see what they're running for because uh, it was more reasonable than I thought because the 1.9 tires are like 33 bucks a pair, which I think is ridiculous. That's a lot of money for a little tire. And these were not much more than they were. It's so funny, I've gotten so good at eyeing up obstacles for 10th scale trucks, but I still have like yet to figure out what a challenging obstacle for the six will be. Most of the time I line it up to something that just drives right over it. It really doesn't care. And it's particularly good at mobbing up big ledges like this, if you can get the bumper out of the rocks. Um, yeah, just these tires eat up these big ledges. Again, bumper in the rocks. There she goes. Bring that front end up. Rear tires folding over a little bit. But uh, I like the look of the KN3s. I literally just got these to kind of see how the performance would be. I've never owned a set of Hyrax tires before. This is my first set. I know a ton of people love them on the 1.9s. Personally, I just don't like the look of them on the 1.9s. I think the six scale version looks a lot better. And the tread pattern closely resembles the blocks of a crawler, a Proline crawler. So with the crawlers not being available, I don't know if they ever will be, uh, this is your closest available option right now. I'm just getting diffed out really hard on that rear axle. There she goes. Leaning over towards the ledge, always a fun, always a fun feeling. And we'll cruise on up, hit the road. All right, got the Jeep here lined up with a very aggressive, ugly looking crack. Let's jump around front and see if we can get this truck to come up this big obstacle. It's probably gonna get really vertical and uh, that will probably be the killing factor on this line. But it might do it, we're gonna find out. Okay, that driver rear tire really hooked up and pivoted the whole truck around. So we're not balanced, but we might get our front hook back up here and get the truck leveled back out. Our mirror is holding this up now and we're too vertical. So I'm gonna reset and try this one more time. Right, so this time we're gonna try and just catch the inside of the driver rear tire here on that ledge so that it climbs up it without it trying to rotate the truck as much. Another way we can fight the truck rotating is by getting that front driver tire hooked on the inside of this ledge too. So like that, now the truck can't rotate around. But the question is, does it have enough traction to pull it up the ledge? Now well, it rotated on us. This is likely too much of an obstacle for this Jeep, but you don't know unless you try. One more attempt. Drive higher on the passenger wall here, which puts more pressure on that driver rear, which is gonna make it rotate even more. Yeah, I just don't think this is the SCX-6's obstacle. We got plenty more out here to play on. So I'm kind of feeling like the next upgrade I might go for on this truck is some overdrive. It's uh, It makes a big difference on all my other trucks. I believe the Vitavon overdrive is like 20% or so, which is quite a lot, it seems like, for a truck this size, but you know what? Why not try it? So I think I'm gonna get some overdrive for this thing in the future and see if on climbs like that, if it helps settle that front end down. 
it'll settle right here. Got those side lugs biting into these rocks and pulling it up. These SCX6s are so fun to drive. I love the way they handle. They just look like a real Jeep out here on the rocks and they perform like a real Jeep would out here on the rocks. Makes everything just a totally different driving experience. If you guys enjoy RC crawlers and you're wondering if you should get an SCX6, I think you will have a blast with it. I know that I do. All right, that front driver tire, the high one, that thing's dropping off like a foot tall ledge coming up right here. But that inside passenger's gonna drop off first, so there's a good chance we're gonna roll this thing right here, which uh, is gonna be bad, so. Ooh, I had to throttle out just a little bit, but we got her to settle down, curve around the point, turn into it. Now I'm lifting rear tire up in the air, but she stayed planted, a little bit of drive in there, and we got her done. This thing can handle some big terrain. Just going for the classic steep climb. I'm gonna see if we can get the traction with these high axes. There she goes. There she doesn't go. Very nice. That was a cool ledge. Oh boy. Big ledge climb with a turn out the top. We're gonna see if we can find the traction in here. It's gonna make the Jeep articulate and flex out in all sorts of different directions on the way through. Looks like that back tire is digging a hole. We got that rock that our axle is hung up on. A diff caught it as I backed up and moved it out of our way. Now it's gonna be used for traction. It's gonna push that front end uphill. And I'm trying to get this thing to turn and rotate as we come up. Maybe not. See what's going on on the other side. Yeah, we're just pressed up against our slider really hard. So let's try and go a little driver before we make our turn. So I'm trying to intentionally break traction when I'm doing this in hopes that the front end would pull around. It's not working right here, but on occasion that works really well. Now I don't know what's going on over here. This climb's making us earn it, no doubt. Leaving tire marks on the rocks. I think that's where we need to be. I don't quite have the steering angle to get that front right up on top of this rock. Come on, six. Pull, rotate, climb. Also scrubbing in these G8 terrain. Also scrubbing in these G8 compound Proline tires. G8 is my favorite compound in the 1.9 world. I think for this size truck, it's a little closer to what Predator would be on the 1.9s. So I'm curious to see how they wear. I think Proline's kind of experimenting as well. So we'll see what happens. I wonder if they're gonna come out with a six scale compound. Okay, <laughs> gotta try something different here. front tire just trying to grab onto that ledge. If it could just pull a little bit more. Okay, maybe we forget about the climb or the turn and we just try and go straight up this. 
now we're digging out a hole in that back driver. <laughs> okay, we got a lot of pressure leaned over on this front tire, so which means a lot of traction. That driver rear is loaded up with traction too. That offset front diff saved us. Which is just a scaled up version of the SCX-10-3 straight axles. I don't have enough servo. Uh-oh. <laughs> Look at how cool this is though. I mean, we moved the rocks in the bottom. We dug a trench out here. There's a pile of dirt on top of this rock. You can actually see it looks like a full-size vehicle was rubbing against these rocks here and laying down some rubber dogs taking a look this is sydney uh but yeah i just think it's really cool the way it like looks like a real vehicle is out here attacking this obstacle well looks like the wind decided to show up and drive under this little overhang out here in the desert probably where the snakes are hanging out i've, I've gotten that comment quite a few times like how many snakes have i seen out here Now keep in mind, I come out here a lot, and uh, like three to four times a week, and I've seen four snakes in a year and a half or so. Usually you have to find them. Uh, they, they usually just want to be left alone. And yes, they've been diamondback rattlesnakes. I've seen one tiny other snake, I don't know what kind it was, but it was definitely non-threatening. Just a little guy out there looking for bugs, most likely. So, Proline Hyrax tires on the SCX-6. I don't have anything bad to say. I'm pretty happy with them. I think they're probably giving me a little more traction than the uh, KM3s were. Maybe just the different tread design, but that being said, I did not have much to say bad about the KM3s either. I liked those tires a lot too. Need that. My back end is trapped and I can't back out of this. Okay, I'll see if just a little bit of help. Yeah, I didn't need a whole lot. I mean, it's a heavy truck, so you gotta push a decent amount. More speed, obviously. There we go. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and drive back to the truck. Hope you enjoyed the video of the new Hyrax tires on the SCX6. Nothing to, nothing bad to say about those tires at all. Steady foams are doing great. I really enjoy my SCX6, having a great time out here with it. And uh, I think that about wraps it up for now. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hit the affiliate links down below. I'll try and find a link to those tires. If not, it's just an A main affiliate, and then anything you buy through there will help support the channel. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down. My buddies always make fun of me for this as I'm walking back to the truck. I'll find another line and throw my truck down and start driving after I've said that we're gonna take off. No different from when I'm making videos. Just a little bonus line for you guys who watch all the way to the end. Thanks for the dog for walking through, like always. If you guys watched all the way to the end, I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. See you guys soon. <laughs>